Twitter family. All right, we gotta we gotta bring this to the attention. Sauce Gardner and myself and pick six himself. The king, the big dog, you know what I mean? This DB stuff, this cornerback stuff, you know, they had another little spat. They don't understand. You know, everybody always feel like I'm taking shots. I'm just advocating like I've been doing from the beginning. I advocate for, for players that don't get the respect, that deserve the respect, and don't get it. You know what I mean? So that's all I'm doing, advocating. And I, and I, and and every everyone was in a frenzy because I said, I think the all pro and the pro bowl should have standards. You should have at least one interception to be considered an all pro. And everybody just went crazy. And then Sauce Gardner, he tweeted me saying, man, I see you keep subtweeting at me because he had zero picks and nine pass breakups. So he feels I'm talking about him. I've been doing this way before you, young man. You know what I mean? So we got to understand, stop being so sensitive that I'm advocating. I'm not picking on no one. If I bring up picks, it's not about nobody. It's in general. So Sauce, it's not about you, brother. It's about the players that should get the respect they deserve. And I felt like Darius Stingley didn't get his respect he deserved this year. I felt like he should have been in a all, uh, Pro Bowl, all pro somewhere off his season this year. He played very well, and he was creating turnovers and making plays and not giving up passes. That's what's important, you know what I mean? Making plays and not giving up passes. He ended up with, with five interceptions. That was great. And they're in the playoffs. Oh, they're playing on a, a good playoff team. And last year, it was all about... Last year, every year is different. We're not saying Tariq Woolen is better than Sauce Gardner this year. Last year he was. I'm, I'm, I'm not evaluating this year. I'm talking about Darius Stingley. So I wasn't hating on him last year. I was give Sauce Gardner his respect. I don't care. Everybody gets their respect, but Tariq Woolen deserves some, some um, respect last year, and he didn't get the respect. So that's all it is about. You know what I mean? Sauce Gardner, you get whatever you deserve, whatever God got for you, brother. I, I have no problem with it. You know what I mean? But I'm going to always advocate for players that don't get the respect they deserve. And I think Derek Stingley was one of those players. Listen, I had 10 interceptions in the, in, in the regular season, two in the playoffs, like two touchdowns. Uh, I gave up like less than 200, 300 yards passing. I didn't make a pro bowl. I didn't make all pro. I didn't make nothing. If I had someone advocating for me, the way I advocate for, for, for the young players, I, everything would have been fine. I probably would have I would have felt good about the situation knowing that someone had my back and understood that I, I'm being overlooked and disrespected and and not recognized for 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 the, that was one of the best seasons of a uh, cornerback in the NFL history. I'm the only cornerback that graded in the 93 threshold. And that's the facts. But they will say someone other cornerback had a had the best year of of the NFL because the powers to be, the marketing, the NY media you know, they drive that stuff. They don't want you to know the truth. The truth is the truth. And I couldn't be up here talking that truth if I wasn't him. And that's the way it is. So stop being so soft, man. I'm just advocating, man. Pick six. That's what I do, baby. You know what I mean? You know, oh, <laughs> did you did you get to see any of that craziness? We was going at it. You know what yeah. I mean? He telling me I'm acting like a female because, right. you know, I'm I'm doing comparisons. I'm comparing stats. And I'm acting like a female. Like, that's crazy. Right. No, I guess the question is, you know, in this world, I'm not saying it's bad, but sometimes you can't praise someone else and somebody else feel bad. So your main focus of what your connotation of what you were trying to say is Stingley was a dog this year and he deserved it. Right. Right. That's, that was your main thing. Yeah. If someone else, whoever it is, even if it's not soft, someone else say, well, dang, dog, like, why are you coming at me like that? But you're like, no, I'm really focusing that Stingley is the guy now. Exactly. Your universal thing, which I agree, because I compared it when you said that you at least got to have one pick to be selected. I said, yeah, that's like a DN. If my job was a defensive end, and I would feel slighted if I had five sacks, say, not even mm -hmm. 10, say five. 10 be astronaut. And somebody, <laughs> they chose someone that had zero sacks, but they got a hit. Like, Okay, that's that's not a subject that you just sweep up under the rug. That's all I'm saying. You got to speak on that because I guarantee if some people who love Darius Stingley, he might not be the, the fan favorite right now. He's a dog. I love the way he plays. Outside of Houston, though, he might not have all the, the lights and glamour, but he's playing some good ball. So sometimes it's like, hey, don't forget about that guy. That guy is a difference maker on that defense, man. Ever since mm -hmm. he came back, you know, we talk about C.J. Stroud. He's great. And I guarantee mm -hmm. C.J. will say, well, that defense is playing great because ever since Derrick came back, 
from injury, that team has been winning. And you can you can chart it back to week six of the Carolina Panthers. That team has been winning, bro. You feel me? So you're right. Now, I, I can't I can't argue that. And sometimes in life, when we do say a good thing that somebody deserves, it's not necessarily a knock on someone else. That's that's all I'm right. gonna say.